Welcome everyone, Questini here with Starfield. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but let's see what Bethesda has cooked up. I am going to be playing this on the very hard difficulty with pretty much maxed out graphical settings with the exception of motion things like motion blur and the field. I just don't care for those kind of graphical settings. I do have FSR 2 turned on at the moment, though I also will install the frame gen mod that I'm pretty sure is available at this point. Anyway, let us begin. Start a new game. Three hundred years in the future, Argos Extractor's mining outpost, the Moon of Vectera. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen, Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. I am kind of wondering why they're using um, a full spacesuit when they apparently have oxygen okay. over here. Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Okay. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never okay. take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Bit, we drill on a rock with a beautiful atmosphere. You know what yeah. I love about working in freestyle collectors? <laughs> A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Dreams of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, then. All right, let's use this cutter. I don't have the scanner available just yet, but I'm busy. Is there anyone else to bother? I am not bothering you. Beryllium. Yes, it is one of those handholdy tutorial sections. Okay. No scanner. But I can figure out which areas are uh, minerals.
Well, look at you. Showing some initiative. Come on, let's check in on Hella. Yeah, I imagine that I don't want to wait for... And here we go. Okay. In three, two, one. I'm reminded of Total Recall with that. Let Helen do his job. This is delicate. Mm-hmm. Uh, scanner's reading a clean break. Let's go. Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. All right, gonna get some materials. If there's anything I've learned from Bethesda games, it's like the difficulty is probably gonna be screwed over somewhere. Come on, boss. I'm not waiting for you. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... Lynn, seriously, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there. Why would anything go wrong? You shut up. Well, she expects... <laughs> Why would anything go wrong and then, uh... In a cave like this? Uh, I imagine. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Okay, pick that up. What do we have here? Do you see anything? I see plenty. Can't mind that. Okay. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Okay, character customization. I admit that I do hate it when RPGs do this because this can take a while. I am probably gonna just gonna go with the preset. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I think I'm going to use this particular preset, but let's keep going. No, you can actually use the mouse. Imagine that. Of course, the way the UI is designed is not exactly conducive towards uh, using that. That's one of the issues, isn't it? Okay, let's keep going. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's go with 34. Of course, I'm going to make a couple of changes, but it's the facial shape that I do. Okay. Well, right face, head shape. Where's my, where's the hair? <laughs> Hmm. 
Now, of course, she would be a character a person would obviously have like short hair in uh, given the context of you know space. Okay, hair color. Let's go somewhere here. Okay, the eyes are a bit too. No, uh, I want eye color. Okay. Well, let's go with that as a choice. So now we get background. So we can be we can be file not found. So we get wellness, ballistics, piloting. We can get let's see diplomat. Diplomat would give me persuasion, commerce, and wellness as starting skills. Though I could also go with cybernetist, whatever. While the standardized digital locking is renowned, cyber rhino. Hmm. Stealth theft. No, not really interested in that. So medicine, lasers. What would diplomat give me? So. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, industrialist. That might be the better one. Because you get research, you get security. Like, uh, you get persuasion and security, that's important. Because obviously there are going to be locks to break. Yeah, let's go industrialist. And then we get traits. We don't need to select traits. Um, so you can be a UCE native. You've never acclimatized to space. Health and oxygen are increased on under surface, but decreased when are, you're in space. Can't be combined with space. I'm going to assume that you're going to spend a lot more time, that it's going to be more relevant on the ground than it is going to be Okay, so you can go FCE or, UE or UCE, all right. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan, Carnar Conrad Werner 2.0, 3.0 maybe, really. He'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. Okay. Performing actions will result in temper increase, but performing will have the opposite effect. So we have to pay. <laughs> okay, you own a luxurious customizable home. Okay, so you can get more health. Okay. Introvert. Kit stuff. No, I don't want introvert. I think I want... You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions. Keep that aspect in mind. So you can, right, so we get raised universal, serpent embraced, sanctum universum, enlightened. I, you know, it would be nice if you, this would tell us what exactly these religious religions means. Um, just saying there. Because it would be pretty useful. I wonder if having your parents alive is any benefit. So I can go. Let's go with UC, UCN. Crime bounty. Well, I might live to regret that one. But let's go. Okay, let's go with Gina. Why not? Oh, the pronoun. <laughs> the infamous pronoun. I admit, of all the things to be pissed off about, like, um, the diversity quotas, the fact the game asks you for a pronoun when you create it is actually the least annoying one. 
what's actually far more annoying is how the character creators are designed in point of fact because like yeah most people are gonna go like with like a female hairstyle when you're playing a female type character right i'm kind of curious about the pronouns they them he him she her okay <laughs> it's like like I, i'm just annoyed about the process that gets um made with regards to character creation because they put all the hairstyles together right it's like the the character creation ui and it's not great in a lot of rpgs these days to be quite honest with you but yeah like the r r outrage over the pronouns is bullshit I i'll be honest anyway oh yeah you were a real rags to riches to rags story when you signed on from space industrialist to contract miner <laughs> Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Uh, maybe not revealing that I just saw a vision. What is that thing? It's our payday, that's what. Sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem anymore. There was this light and music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Whoa, a constellation you don't look is good. on approach. Wait, the explorers group? Okay. I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. Yeah, right. They're just too young to know better. You need some coffee hey, or something? I'm just saying, they got a reputation. Got a right, Hell, somewhere. I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Well, I wonder if I'm going to deal with them. Supervisor's log. Day two. Okay, Cabert remains a weak link. You can't just train away stupid. This has been a good run. Uh, you might be surprised what you can do with stupid. Let's get that injector. Yes, I am gonna steal everything that's not nailed to the ground. Glad when we're off this rock. And the game doesn't even treat it as stealing, so what do I care? A magnet? Space undersuit. Okay, food. Ah. That's very useful. Those are for hacking, just uh, so you know. I played like an hour or so of the game before just to get acclimatized to the various things. Interesting. Well, it is a bathroom, so hey, personal space, right? Soap dispenser. You gotta figure out what's actually useful and what isn't useful. <laughs> Pill bottles. Okay, pill bot medical injector. Let's pick that up. Drink plank milk. Just trying to get through my shift. Mm-hmm. Why do NPCs react to you the moment you cl come close to them? I have no interest in you. Well, I guess people would naturally do that. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? More like desperation, I suppose. That's uh, gonna have some value. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of August. Okay, so I've told Teller everything he needs, which is okay. Barrett's special orders. Hell are putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? Yep. Hold on. Before I keep moving, it's, uh, I can't. Damn it. Thanks, game.
Let's move. That's an efficient airlock. Take care of yourself out there. Okay, let's see what this Barrett fellow has to offer. Really? In a discovery class? The so ship's older than this moon. Oh, it's not like old. It's like classic. Come on, let's do this. So I got a pistol and a cutter. At least the game is not yelling at me for not doing what it's what it wants me to do. The third person camera feel is finicky and clunky, so yeah, I get it. It's a first person game, but still. are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? How would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. You could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Holy shit! That's the Crimson Fleet! Weapons! Everybody get ready! Okay, we gotta fight! You're gonna have some hell to answer for, Barrett. We gotta fight. I'm gonna use the pistol because it has obviously longer range than the cutter. The cutter is... God. I might die. <laughs> well, I got thrown to Mars. I was too close. That's why I died. Because uh, I basically ended up being aggro aggroing all of them. It's like, yeah, that was a bit too close. Okay. Let's do this properly. They come. Doing a hot landing like that is pretty suicidal, I gotta say. Press mouse to hold the mouse two to aim. Press mouse one to shoot. Oh, 
Okay. that as two. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Whoa, wait. I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, um... I wasn't gonna bring it up, but... We don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about... I stay, and I send your Dusty here in my place. I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Okay. What is this? It's not just I didn't watch, right? Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Okay. Do I send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Okay. You're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Who are you? What is Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. And what exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Okay, why were pi pirates after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. And Vasco, don't let her break my ship. <laughs> well, I thought you just said it's not really your ship, is it? Okay. Take it easy. I do have med kits. Okay, I got stuck there. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can find here. So when I sprint, I use O2. 
there's your spray meter. Nothing here. Maybe inside here. Nope. I mean, I get it. It's window dressing, right? Yep. I'm sure they're gonna be very happy. Use to administer medication that treats affliction. That's a med cat. Um, med cat. Okay. Let's get on that ship. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship as what? Barrett likes to Well, hey there, I... Okay. Come on, see, but, but, brother, I had to buy a few, though. It's as easy as learning to ride a bike. <laughs> I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Oh yeah, it's ri riding a bike. So so riding a starship that involves con considering the fact of gravity. Uh, gravity. Um, what what are the words I'm looking for here? Hold on. Escape velocity. Mass. Gravity, mass, escape velocity, inertia. You know, all those tiny little things that are insignificant, right? You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol indigo means no deviations, no distractions, mm -hmm. no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, Said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. What do we have here? I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Huh. Someone stole a ship from Constellation, is that... That's what he's basically saying. I wonder if it's better to... Okay. We can cook, we can research. We can fight in space. Okay. Let's take off. Is up to you. We are going up. Here we go. Like riding a bike. <laughs> I'd like them to explain the aspects. Okay. We got weapons. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Let's power up everything. Everything is powered up. Okay, there we go. All right, we're moving so, but that's because I only have a limited amount of power to. Uh, You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. OK. 
Okay. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Okay. Congratulations on surviving your first starship assault, Captain. Took a bit of damage. The wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Mm-hmm. Let's get him. Okay, keep full speed ahead. Yep, you're dead. Okay, let's get the uh, supplies there. We're gonna land as well. Okay. Uh, how do I repair? Well, regardless. All right. Let's go. landing and let's go deal with the pirates so we got our very own droid our very own spaceship and we're going to kill pirates oh yes Bethesda I'll follow you from here on out captain 
Well, this certainly does look nice. It's the best looking game Bethesda has ever made. Well, well someone's... Okay. Okay, let's do it. Vasco? Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Why is the Crimson Fleet capture after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Just who are you and Barrett? What's Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Why is Barrett uh, trusting me with the ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos, so technically you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Okay. So he's manipulating me. Okay. There is an outpost. It's in this direction. Oh, very fun. Okay, we're scanning the iron and picking it up. Well, it's No Man's Sky feel very much so. If No Man's Sky actually ran better and looked much better. We're in scanner mode. Don't think we're gonna leave it. So I need to keep an eye on the oxygen. 25 degrees 10. Okay. Silver. I wanna go there. Before doing the main mission objective. More iron. We're gonna scan more stuff. So we need to survey, we're 59% survey done. That's fiber. If there's one thing I've learned playing Bethesda games, never go for the main story stuff first, explore. They're designed for that purpose. Especially on higher difficulties. I don't think you want to experience Fallout 3 or Skyrim on the highest difficulty. That means... Oh, we're running out of oxygen. 
You certainly don't want to experience those games on the highest difficulty if you just rush the main story. It's gonna end poorly for you. I'm not sure what the balance is, though. There's more stuff there. For real? Jeez. That's just a... <laughs> okay! Uh, okay game. So heat is an next shoe. Oh, okay. What is this? Thought there was a base. We are no longer alone. We're never alone. I hope he has unlimited ammo. Oh. Hunters. <clears throat> Hello. They got an alarm system for this baby. Yes? Yes. What? Should I kill her? Hey. Excuse me. Pardon. Howdy. If I steal from these guys, it's gonna be a problem. Didn't expect that. I think it's a random encounter, actually. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> Let's not start out our murder spree right uh, just yet. Okay, that's what I want to do. Don't worry, there will be a murder, murder spree, that's for certain. We got water. There's a great stalker. Silver. You're ready to find, my friend. Me? I'm just gonna leave. 
Well, there's some... Okay. I'll level up later. And are we? Yeah, victorious. What do we have here? That's a ship. Or is it? If it looks like a ship, smells like a ship. I wonder what these Please guys are. Avoid getting shot. You might die. Okay. Seems like a better ship than the one I had before. Bigger, better, stronger. Well, I am just going to check what these guys actually are, by the way. To see if I may have pissed off someone that I shouldn't have. So I did a bit of digging, and apparently it's not really worth for me to... Well, it might be. It's certainly a much bigger ship than the one I currently have. But there is the enemy cavalry, the reply. It is worth taking those guys out. But I need to be a bit careful. Over here. Civilian outpost. Is this randomized? Okay, that's one. Okay. Okay, he might survive, but I will not... Mercenaries. Avoid getting shot. 
Okay. Let me run away. There's another one. Okay. That's quite a few. So The trusty mining laser is going to do the job. Come on, Vasco, do your job. Alert. The enemy has returned. Exterior plating damaged. Oh, he's got shields. This guy's got the good armor. Yeah, he's in mind. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, let's drop this. This. Still no spacesuit. See? Recycling. No one here. Oh. Rapid uh Grendel. Sure. Toast. Oh, sailor hat. <laughs> Circuit board. Pick that up. Might be useful. This is someone's home. Well, finders keepers. Oh yeah, it's the sandstorm, that's why. Would be nice to have a vehicle, wouldn't it?
Was I? But I am not technically alive. Okay. Nope. Equip that one. It's worse in almost every way, except energy weapons. Certainly looks better though. And yes, this is Fashion Souls. What is this? Hmm. So, here's what happened the first time I came here. Just to give you guys some idea. Because this is my second, well, the second time I started a playthrough. It's not second playthrough. So, uh, first time, there was a huge ass base over here. Filled with pirates. Now we got a bunch of mercs. And I got their ship. It might be worth a little bit, but I'm not... Okay, one of the things that I see with it as a problem is while it certainly has a heck of a lot of capabilities, um, While it does have a heck of a lot in terms of capabilities, it does have one particular issue. It doesn't have a research lab that I can see in it. Okay, let's exit the ship. It doesn't have a research lab, nor does it have a galley. Now, maybe, obviously, that would... Oh. Could be... There's something there. That might have been the... base I was talking about. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. You don't say. That's the base, I just went the wrong way. <laughs> they, there be pirates there.
There's also something there. So I wonder, I wonder if there's random generation. I don't know. Okay. Alright, so biome complete. That's what it's telling me. What is going on? Well, that's closer than that. Okay. So I'm gonna first check this place out. See what's in there, then check up there, and then finally do the objective. There's a lot of stuff to find, apparently. Take it easy. No, oh, I see. Uh, game. There we go. Frame rate drops. There's certainly a large structure over there, or a collection of large structures. I am curious if there's any enemies there. Alright, deserted. Yep, I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm not insane enough to pick a fight with those guys. <laughs> Picking a fight with level 5 enemies... Okay. Picking a fight with level 14 enemies... That's a bit too hardcore even for me. It's... It would certainly be a surefire way of getting my ass handed to me. if I can improve the cutter. Probably. Seems like a fairly effective one. Who would have funk mining what mining tool would be a good weapon. Sure range. Not great at long range, but still. I wonder what horrors lie within. Well let's use the axe. Don't see anything here. Keep up, Vasco. Don't make me drag your ass here. Okay. Iron. I got an infection, don't I? Seems like it. Let me see what's here before I climb up. It is a game of exploration, so... You know, on one hand, I'm perfectly fine with that. On the other hand, YouTube kind of hates these kind of videos, so make of that what you will. What do we have here? Okay. Waste of time. Literally nothing here. That's a bit bizarre if you ask me, but sure. 
What are those generators? Water tanks? They look kind of like water tanks, aren't they? You would probably need a lot of water. The more I play this, the... Where are they? Jeez, this is... Something, isn't it? Please tell me I am not go not going to encounter high level enemies here because that would be no it's just the mercs. Guess we're not fighting pirates, we're fighting mercs, mercs who apparently are very hostile towards me. Tell me I... Oh, shit. That is not good. No more medkits. That's gonna hurt. Uh, don't do this to me, game. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, superior paste, superfood paste, okay. I am aiming for your center of mass. I am hit. You don't say. Alright, he had the med kit. Okay, let's try and use I do not feel pain, but I hear it is. I'm dead. Shit. Yep. No med kit and I went. Too hard against too many enemies that far out <laughs> outranked me. Anyway, I got pretty far away considering that. Okay, let's try and do this. Okay, let's see. That was instant. Oh shit. What? Oh, I got one behind me. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to run away. Or approach from a different angle. I guess he was fighting the dog there, so that's why he ended up dying. He's actually fairly resilient, all things considered. Come on, come on, game. Let me get out of here. <laughs> if I can get out of here. I'm trying for a different approach. There's too many of them. There's ev they're everywhere. What is this? Freaking nightmare. They're pretty accurate too. Oh god, that's a third. Yep. Okay then. 
How about this? We get the fuck out of here. There is um, no way I'm doing this with no medkits. If I had a selection of medkits, sure. Terrible. I'm trying to find them, that's the problem. That's a turret too. Okay. Okay, so shotgun shell. Don't die, Vasco. Okay, that's... Okay, get in, get in, <laughs> open up, open up! <laughs> okay, we're in, Ooh, got it! Got in. I am saved, for a moment. Although I have a high explosives right next to me, so am I really safe? The damn droid. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill me. Yep. That was not good. No grenades. There are grenades. Maybe if I lower it here. Hold on. Let's see what I got here. Uh, sushi. Damn it. Can't do it. Yep, there's the explosion that I expected. No strings are tough. If it was just the humans, maybe. But with those things, nah. Oh shit. Try and. It's kind of annoying because they can shoot me through the damned wall. Yep. Alright. So I guess I have no choice but to load this one. Well, this is what you get for going off the beaten path, don't you? I suppose so. Well, I got my just deserves, uh, desserts with that one. Anyway, of course, seeing here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications, and stay tuned for more. So there's nothing there. And yeah, I'm just gonna go do this objective, get some med kits, and explore further later. Or come back here once I have a lot of ammunition, weapons, grenades that I can do, probably from this Be mission. Careful, here. Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. I don't say. What? Well, I got the disease now. All right, let's just cure it. That's Radaway. It's the unholy union of Fallout and Skyrim. Not sure how to feel about that one, but stay tuned for more.